Well, as you all know, I'm a glutton for cheeseburgers. In punishment, I picked up myself another locked up bike. Fingers crossed that this one goes my way. Welcome to Rooster's self-deprecating channel. We know the rear shock's good. Well, I don't know if it's fortunate or unfortunate that there are so many neglected bikes out there. This bike's been sitting in the shop for a couple of weeks and there's a good three foot puddle of oil underneath it, which is never, ever a good sign. Hopes are not high on this one, people. But the only way to find out is tear it apart, see what's going on with this one. The old incorrect bolt routine. Missing. Everything looks nice from up top. Mission seems to be shifting fine. Yeah, let me get the magneto cover off. I'm going to start prepping for removing the engine from the frame on this thing. I have a feeling that's where I'm going to end up. Put a socket on here so if I can turn this any direction. Now she's tight.
Well, the chain is loose now. Let me get these cam caps off. Intake cam looks good. Exhaust cam looks good. Decomp is working fine. Then I'm going to pull the timing chain. And the next step is going to be to get the head and the cylinder off. Well, what is that? Anybody have any idea? This is the top of the connecting rod sitting down in the magneto. I guess we have an idea of what happened. I'm going to pull this motor. That's some dirty oil. It's expensive. Certainly a lot cheaper to change the oil than to repair your engine when it fails. What a difference in these new engines. This thing is super light. All right, so we got to get this top end off. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another good head. I'd be shocked if this thing is just a crankshaft.
go. I said I would be shot. It's definitely got more damage for sure. Gonna need a piston. Gonna need a cylinder. God, what a shame. The cylinder is actually in really good condition. Piston's not even that bad either, but they got to be replaced. There's definitely damage, and I'm sure it's stressed. Well, as you can see, the crankshaft definitely came apart. It came forward, and it definitely bent the balancer shaft. But the worst news is the front of this case. But all is not lost. The left side case seems to be in good condition. I just need a right side case and a crankshaft and a cylinder and a piston. Okay, let me get this bottom end torn apart. Normally I wouldn't hammer on the crankshaft. I'd use a case splitter, but this crankshaft is beyond repair. Anywho. Wow, it's gouged up real good right there. Yeah, crank bearings are okay. <laughs> wow. A 
abusive. More pieces of that broken connecting rod. Well, I guess at this point now I have to kind of decide what my options are. I'm going to price everything up and see if it's worth fixing. It definitely needs a lot of work. I'm going to need a crankshaft, at least one case half, piston, cylinder. The head's in good shape. So that's probably going to do it for this video. I appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It definitely helps the channel out. Make sure you hit the bell. That will tell you when I put my new videos out. Hopefully we can get this thing back together if it works out that way. And of course, I'll bring you guys along for the ride. Thanks for watching. Wish me luck. And I'll see you on the next one.